Hey guys, Touch coming at you. It's Tuesday. I think it's still morning. Getting pretty close to afternoon. Out in my nice, uh, well, newly cleaned garage. And uh, just went down to Home Depot and uh, today we'll be insulating the garage door days. And uh, all I basically do is uh, insulate along the edges. This, this door on the uh, the right hand side of the house looking from the front um, will be closed for the winter time um, so I can pretty much pack the insulation in here and along the top and cut some of those drafts out. This side um, I kind of like to have this available to open if required um, so I do have some insulation I'm going to pack loosely in. You can see the gaps here and see how drafty this can be and it's particularly bad on the uh, on the other side, actually on this side, you can actually see the light sort of streaming through. So that's the kind of uh, gaps that I want to seal up with this uh, fiberglass insulation. So it's uh, worked well over the past couple of years. Um, it does allow me to get the garage doors open in an emergency so I can just sort of zip them up. I mean, some guys poly over the garage uh, doors, staple up some plastic and that kind of stuff. but. I like the ability to open the garage doors if required. And if I have a nice sunny day, uh, you know, for some freak, uh, maybe in December, I might be able to open the garage doors and give the garage a sweep out, that kind of thing. So nice to be able to open the doors. So I find that the fiberglass along the edges seems to work well. So anyway, that's uh, the plan for later today. But uh, right now I thought I'd just do a really quick video. And this is really for, uh, for John Kerry, who was talking about doing an alternator conversion on his uh, Jag. Is 1963 Jag, and uh, I'm running right now on my TR3. I've got the old Lucas generator in there as well. I rebuilt the generator, and it uh, it works perfectly fine. I'm not sure how uh, big or small is this is compared to John's. I'm I'm assuming it's a little smaller because I'm sure the Jag would have had to have run a bigger generator because it uh, had probably more electrical components and gizmos than the TR3. But uh, anyway, there's my stock generator and. Um, since I'm running a, I've got a big uh, SPAL electric fan that um, I'm going to be running, plus I'm going to be running some driving lights, um, I've decided to actually run uh, and go with the alternator conversion. <clears throat> so I've just laid it out here because I know John was talking about the possibility of doing a, an alternator conversion on his Jag. So uh, this is what I've got as far as my uh, kit is concerned. So this is a... Um, a GM alternator, I believe it's a it's a Delco Delco Remy um, alternator. I think, and don't quote me on this. I think it's a 10 SI, and I'm not sure of the the amps that it puts out. Um, anyway, it does have the uh, a wide belt conversion pulley on it, so you can actually use. I'm not sure if your belts are probably the wide belts, John, like mine, um, or wider belts. So. I can use this uh, without doing a belt uh, conversion um, pulley kit because I'd have to convert my uh, water pump uh, uh, pulley as well and my uh, crank pulley and I don't necessarily want to do that. So I've just gone with stock uh, pulley configuration on this. Um, it is a very simple uh, hookup, <clears throat> single wire hookup on the back of this. Um, it does actually come with a, I mentioned that it control, comes with a control box and uh, there it is there and really all it is is this is the old voltage regulator box and I'm pretty sure you have either one or two of these I only have one in my car you might have two in the Jag um, so basically what this does is it just makes it uh, into a uh, since the since the uh, new alternator has an internal regulator um, it doesn't require this uh, control box so all that's been done is it's sort of been gutted and it's sort of been a shunt uh, just wired in there. Now I can wire up my original harness to this and it'll still work um, perfectly well um, through this uh, this box. So uh, so there's a conversion. I, like I said, I haven't installed it uh, yet and I will do that before I get this restoration uh, uh, out on the road, but uh, I thought I would get the body work done uh, first before I tackled any more mechanical jobs because uh, that would just take me away from doing what I need to be doing at the moment. Anyway, um, I did get this from a gentleman named Art Lip. Um, he's uh, located in New York. He does a lot of parts for uh, for TR6s and TR3s, and I'm not sure if he does some Jag parts. He might. Um, anyway, he does the alternator conversion kits. Um, he does a really good little uh, 
construction package, and I'll just run through what we got um, included in the package. So just as an FYI, this alternator conversion kit cost me $220, and that's, that's to buy it all ready to go. I'm sure you could probably uh, piece these components together for cheaper if you really wanted to. Um, I just, you know what, uh, this is sort of a true and, trust, true and tested uh, um, kit, so I just thought I would go with that and not worry about uh, trying to find the, the bits and pieces. So $220, uh, that was delivered. There's uh, instructions on how to replace the uh, generator with an alternator, and this is specifically for the uh, TR2, 3, and 3A. It's very simple, um, extremely simple on how to do that. Now, there is one modification I need to do on my car, and that's a slight modification of the, uh, the bracket. And it's very simple. It's, it's basically pounding the, uh, pounding the existing bracket flat and doing a little bit of grinding um, on the, the bracket for clearance. So you can see that bracket right there. And it's quite accessible it's, and it's a, it's a very easy mod. You can see it's like only got a slight bend in it anyway. So yeah, not much of a mod there required uh, whatsoever. Um, it's also a, a little tip page here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, talks about the possibility of changing your amp meter to a volt meter. Um, I know I can get one from a 74 TR6. Uh, I think the only reason why uh, you want to do that is it uh, doesn't obviously read um, properly on your old ammeter. Um, I'm not sure what the reading shows. I think it shows a discharge or an overcharge most of the time. So this suggests go to a, a 74 TR6 or, or a different gauge um, that will rectify that situation. Anyway, um, again, it can be used with a, uh, your stock wiring harness and it looks like a stock uh, connection. Uh, nobody will really even know if they look at the firewall, they'll just see the wiring through the, the new uh, control box. Um, talks about doing a, this, is a, this car was an initially a positive ground car, so it talks also about doing a negative ground conversion, which I'm going to do. Um, uh, it's a very simple, it's a very simple process um, and it's all basically outlined here. So. I'm pretty sure your car would probably be positive ground as well, John, so I'm not sure if you're uh, going to be doing a negative ground conversion on yours. I'm assuming that you are. In case you want to run things like uh, GPS and, uh, and that kind of thing, you won't uh, fry out your systems. So yeah, that's it. I uh, just wanted to do this. It's not so quick video. It's now almost uh, It's going to be close to eight minutes, but I thought I would just uh, get that out there for John because um, I know he was uh, considering going with an alternator conversion. So. Uh, everybody that has these um, that I've talked to are quite happy with it. Uh, obviously having the increased power uh, output um, is a good thing, especially if you're running some extra electrical components like I'm planning on doing. But also the, abil the ability to, if you do have a problem with it uh, while you're on a road trip uh, away from home, um, it's obviously a an off-the-shelf uh, part that you can purchase um, and replace uh, quickly as opposed to uh, trying to find an old uh, Lucas uh, generator or having that one rebuilt on the road. So anyway, that's a quick shot of it and uh, hopefully that helps you out in, uh, in your decision making. All right, we'll talk to you later guys.